It is going to be a sight to remember around this time tomorrow. The moon will be lining up over the sun for what experts call an annular eclipse, and Tucsonans will have a front row seat of all the action. Nine on your side's Marcelino Benito joins us tonight live from U of A's Flandro Science Center with more on what's going to be a very exciting event. Marcelino? Yeah, Tammy, all of Tucson getting ready for that big solar eclipse tomorrow night. But before you come out here and take a look up at the sun, we do have a few tips you'll want to hear about. Experts tell us if you're not careful when you're watching these things, they could be the last ones you see. You're probably thinking, what's the big deal? It's just the sun. Well, because it's one of those things that doesn't happen very often. Um, an annular eclipse is, is, is relatively rare. What you'll get to see in just 24 hours hasn't happened in North America since 1994. The sun and the moon will star in a stellar show, set to start at 525 tomorrow afternoon. We will just see a big chunk of the sun cut out by the moon. And the moon will just go by the sun, and at one point, it'll probably cover up 85 to 87 percent of the sun. Many along a stretch of the U.S. to our north will see this, a ring of fire. Here in Tucson, we'll see a crescent sun. It, it's a great thing that, that sparks interest in astronomy. We're, we're excited about it. The astronomers, we make a big deal about it. Uh, there'll be public viewing all over town. Of course, with an event like an eclipse, people are going to want to stare at it. But before you look up, there's one big thing you should know. Right. Never look directly at the sun. Dr. Tom Fleming, an astronomer at the U of A, says it could burn your retinas. So instead, grab a pair of these. You put these on, you can look directly at the sun. In fact, that's the only thing you'll see. They cut out so much light, I can't see you at the moment. These solar shades block 99.9% .9 of sunlight. It keeps you safe from the sun. But what if you want to watch tomorrow's eclipse off of a personal telescope at home? In that case, Dr. Fleming says make sure you buy a solar filter. Unless you have gone to a telescope shop and bought or, or ordered on the internet, right, the appropriate filter for solar observing, never look at the sun with a telescope. As long as you're prepared, you should be good to go. Experts say to take full advantage tomorrow. It could be decades before this happens again. It's in our backyard tomorrow uh, uh, evening, so I hope that everyone takes an opportunity to... Uh, Look at the sun. So as you can see, I got my glasses. I'm all ready to go. But if you don't have yours, no reason to panic. They'll be selling them here all afternoon at the Flandreau Center. They'll be here until 9 p.m. tonight. You can buy them for about $4. So be sure to stop by and pick up a pair of your own. For now, we're live outside the U of A. I'm Marcelino Benito. Kagan 9 on your side. It's a good look for you, Marcelino. I like that.